Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Masters of the Universe Origins figure, Spike Or. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging. Then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but really help this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here he is in packaging. Uh, I love the packaging for this line of figures uh, lately because it's been doing the whole Snake Man thing. So, you got the Snake Man logo, Masters of the Universe. You got this scale pattern here on the clamshell. His name, Spike Or. You know, a quick description of him and um, modern positioning plus retro play, which we'll talk about that a little bit when we look at the figure. Spinning around this way. All right, you get this beautiful art up here. You get a little bit of a description of him. You get some information about the Snake Men. Uh, everybody that's part of this lineup. His play features. And then your legal underneath. Spin it around back this way. So, with all that being said, let's open him up and see what he's about. Alright, so here he is out of packaging. I love the whole look to him. He really captures the whole look of Spike Or. You know, he even has like these little rubber spikes and stuff on him. So, let's give him the rotation. All right. All right. So, he also has the standard Masters of the Universe points of articulation. So, his head is on a ball joint. He has a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. All right. Put those arms up. He also has a torsal joint. A thigh joint, a knee joint, a swivel at the top of the boot, and he has an ankle joint. All right. And he comes with a couple of accessories. Whoops, fell over. All right. So, first off, he comes with his club. All right. And this just fits nicely into his hand. All right. And now he also comes with the trident, but inside. Because with the original figure, this actually would go in and out of his arm. I think it was spring-loaded. I forget. It's been a long time since I've seen that figure. Um, and this is one of my issues that I've been having with these figures lately. Is that they're taking the play feature out of it. Like, you look on the box, it says, you know, modern um, points of articulation and retro play. But there's no retro play to some of these new figures. They, it's completely taken out. Because the retro play in my opinion, would be this trident going in and out, in and out. And to me, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I kind of get it. It makes them nicer for display. They look a little bit cooler. But these figures were designed to be based off of the original line of toys. And my inner kid would have loved to have seen him come with the trident and just push it in and out. It's the same with like some of these newer figures like Mechanek, you know. I would like to just be able to twist his, you know, torso and have his neck go up. Um, I think Snake Face was another one where you p pulled up a thing in his back and the snakes came out of his eye. You know, I I, I would have liked to be able to do that with these ca characters just to bring back that inner child. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Do you prefer that they do it this way uh, with the exchangeable hands or would you still like to have these figures have that retro play? Just leave your um, thoughts and comments in the comment section on that because i would really like to know what you guys think so also this pops off <clears throat> and then this just pops right in there so goes on and off no issues so it is a nice little feature all right and he also comes with this mini comic here the artwork is really nice, you know, it continues the story of this universe's Masters in the Universe storyline, which is really nice. And then on the back, you got the lineup of figures that are part of this wave. So, overall, I really do like this figure. I think he really does capture the look of the original figure. It's just, me personally, 
I would like to see the retro play on them. And I think I said this with a couple of other figures as well. So once again, let me know in the comments what you think about it, whether you would prefer them to keep that play feature or do you like it better this way. So with that being said, I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but it really helped this channel grow. So until the next one, late.